Okay, Flow Labs, four minutes on the clock. Three, two, go. Hi, everyone. This is Jimit. I'm Nishant, and we're the founders of Flow Labs. We're giving building owners real time water insights. Here's your everyday, building, everyday city with everyday buildings. Just like you and I, they use water every day. Only they have no idea how or where they use their water. And how can they? There's one water meter that sits outside of those buildings, giving them one number once a month. This matters when you look at this chart. Water has been the highest rising utility cost compared to other utilities over the last 30 years, rising over 450%. 450%. And it's only projected to go higher. This matters to people like Christy. She's the manager for sustainability and conservation programs for a major Bay Area university. She's already installed thousands of low flow fixtures in the university and is constantly looking for ways to reduce their footprint and doesn't know how. That's where we come in. We've created, we've combined hardware and software in a novel way to create an ultra low cost retrofit water meter. You clamp it onto the outside of a pipe, less than a minute, no professional installation needed, and you're measuring water. Christy will install this on all of her fixtures, showers, toilets, faucets, measure water wirelessly and automatically. Let's switch to the Mac and I'll show you the three things Christy's really excited about in using our platform. First, you can see here, quantified data from the last week, February 22nd, she used 1,600 gallons of water. But now for the first time, she can see exactly on Monday, they used 175 gallons of water in the showers. She can break it down by building level, floor, room, even by specific meter type. So we quantify all this information for Christy. What else can we do? We give her tailored insights. We compare her university to other similar buildings, national averages. Next, we can give her tailored recommendations. Suppose they're using over 50% of their water in shower heads and showers. We'll connect them with a low flow shower head rebate that the government is offering so they can start saving water. And finally, real time alerts notifications. <laughs> Everything looks okay here, but in another instance, there's a leak in the boys' bathroom shower. Her maintenance staff will get a text right away, and they can address it before they lose more water. So let's switch back to the PC, and you can see why this is a no-brainer for Christy. T quantifying water usage can decrease water usage by 10 to 20 percent. And its studies show that 14 percent of all domestic indoor water usage goes to leaks. With us only charging $3 per sensor per month, we provide a concrete ROI of over 3x to Christy and the university. This doesn't even include energy savings, sustainability leadership that they'll also get. Needless to say, universities is just a fraction of the market. There are hundreds of millions of buildings in the US that can use this product. Over 1.3 billion sensors in the US, over $40 billion of TAM for us to capture. Proud to announce we've kicked off four pilot programs, paid pilot programs with two universities and two hotels in the Bay Area. A little bit about us. Jimmy and I have been friends for the last seven years. We worked at Texas Instruments together, supporting consumer electronics companies like, Texas, uh, like Nest, Fitbit, and Roku, bringing their products to life. Personally, our roots in India have made us keenly aware of resource scarcity and helped us understand how important water is. Now, the California drought has made us all aware of water, but the global water scarcity is the larger issue at hand. We need to do something about this before this becomes an even larger issue, and that's what we intend to do. We're Flow Labs, and we're giving building owners real-time water insights. Thanks. Okay. That was a strong presentation. Siam, what do you think? Well, um, I'm a little conflicted on this one, just like yesterday. I, yum, yum. I already swooped in and invested in these guys. I love them. <laughs> All right. What? I mean, let's just use this as an opportunity. What is it about what they have accomplished that made you want to write a check? Yeah, I think one of the, I mean, one of the things is they've already got customers. They've already done this in universities and in hotels. And they have real feedback from them that this has actually helped them and be able to identify problems. But also as a property owner, this excites me because, you know, I, one thing I am concerned about is water damage. And so if they can figure out like how to prevent that, that's gonna be great. But also water conservation is a big issue. Ludwig? Cool, I wanna buy it because I'm a TIC owner in San Francisco. I never know how much is my bill versus my co-owner. So can you, can you make it happen at the building level or, or it's only at the sink level, I miss that? 
So we put these sensors on every fixture. So it has to be on every fixture. Yeah, and in aggregate, we can do building level or down to the fixture. Got it. And what's the cost of the device for you just to produce? For us in mass production, it'll be $6 about. So Six. we'll get that ROI in about a very, few months. Yeah, very quickly. OK, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Christian, what did you think? I think it's really good. I mean, being able to produce uh, technology that conserves our most precious resources, especially water right now, is very big. Um, what are some of the other um, clients that you're looking at? Yeah, absolutely. So we're starting off with universities and hotels. Uh, we've uh, spoken with golf courses and there's other clients. What we're trying to do is we're starting with pilot programs, paid pilots, moving into at scale with um, uh, property management companies and insurance companies. So we spoke with a couple of insurance companies as well. Uh, they're looking to save a lot of water um, and damages with that. To address exactly what Cyan said, water damage is the second highest cost for insurance companies. So. OK, one more question. Uh, oh, poor Harvey got the uh, bad guy session this time, so I get to be the good guy. Uh, having said that, though, let me ask you about the pricing. How did you decide $3? Why not $1 or $5? Or why not a percentage of a success fee, like a percentage of the savings? So, so as early stage company, we certainly are playing with the business model. Uh, we did start with $1 per sensor per month with certain customers, but university is actually paying us $3 per sensor per month. So we will flex as we get deeper in pilots, but if we can charge more by saving more water and preventing disasters, we certainly intend to do that. Great. Harvey, you have anything to add? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think it's a great product. I'd use it. I'd look at... Uh, uh, standpipes, fire sprinkler systems, because if, you're, if you lose a pint, there's something wrong. Uh, you get a lot of leaks that way. I'd sell to HOAs. Golf courses need one behind every valve. Uh, hey, we agree there's certainly but a lot of I, I think the granularity of device, I, th I think if I put three in my house, I would get most of the advantages. I'd be able to spot a leak, especially when I'm out of town. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. It's also plumber free. You don't need a plumber. That's the best part, you're right. Ludwig will set you up. I like how Cyan is already <laughs> stumping for her portfolio. Well done. Thank you. All right, well done, Flow Lab.